All right, so we're going to do the um, identification and evidence of macromolecules lab. The paper looks like this. You can get it off of Schoology. Um, up at the top, there's four questions. Uh, so make sure that you answer those. And then the equipment or the materials and then the procedure, I'll talk through all those. And then we will fill in the big table on the back. Um, so it says that you have a hot plate, test tubes, beaker, a whole bunch of stuff. And then you have uh, three indicators. And so there's an iodine solution, looks like this. Oops. <laughs> and then you have a Benedict solution, it looks like this. And then you have what's called a biurea solution, looks like this. And so those are what are um, we call indicators. They indicate whether there is the presence of a macromolecule. So we talked about four macromolecules in class, um, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids. So we're going to test for four different things today, uh, not nucleic acids, but two different kinds of carbohydrates. And then we have um, four, three solutions in a, in a vegetable oil. So I have a uh, sugar solution, a dextrose solution, a starch solution, a gelatin powder solution, uh, which is protein, and then vegetable oil. And so then we have the procedure. And so I'll go through this, um, and it just, I'm doing what the instructions uh, tell us to. So the first one is Benedict solution. So this, um, this one, try and figure out where my camera is. This one has some sugar in it and this one does not. Um, so this is water. And so when we put our Benedicts in here, on the back of your paper, it says um, appearance in uh, the sugar solution before heating and after heating. And so we've got to look at this a couple times and then we're going to put it into the um, hot water bath. You, it's sort of off the camera, um, and so, but you'll be able to see it. And so if we look at this, um, and I can hold up a white sheet of paper to make it a little bit more visible, they're both sort of that light bluish. They're just sort of a diluted uh, by or Benedict's. And so we're gonna put these into the uh, hot water bath over here, and then they have to sit for five minutes. The next one says starch, but we're gonna skip to protein because it also has to sit for five minutes. And so this one's a little bit more obvious. Um, this has protein solution in it. It's just um, gelatin. It's like uh, it's like Jello without the um, color or the flavorings. And so, and then the other one's just water. And so, uh, biurea solution. I need to get the cap off. It's sort of stuck on there. Um, this is sort of a um, like a grayish, uh, bluish kind of color. And so that's the before heating. Um, and so we're gonna give these both a big squirt. And so then we'll put those into the, um, so they did the same thing. They're just a little bit diluted um, from the color that uh, was in the bottle. So they were like a little bit of a gray color, grayish, bluish, but watered down. And so that's the Benedict's and the Bayure. And then the starch just says to add uh, drops to your solution. So this one is, this has some cornstarch in it. This is just water. And so this one we're going to see right away. And so um, this says on your paper, it says starch and iodine, and then um, water and iodine. So let me see if my little pipette's going to work. Of course it's not. And so I need to get this one. Just got a little hole in it so it's not suctioning out. And so if I put it into the water, it just sort of turns it a lighter yellow. And then if I put it into um, the starch solution, it is like a dark purple, kind of a brownish blackish color. So that's pretty easy to um, understand and describe. And so we'll put those to the side because we're done with those. And then the last one is lipids. And so lipids we don't use an indicator for, we use a paper towel for. And so um, if we have our um, oil, trying not to get it all over the place, this is just corn oil, so I'm going to take a little bit of water. And I'm going to put it on my paper towel and then I'm going to take a little bit of oil and put that on my paper towel so it doesn't really matter if it's the same amount or not um, and it just has to sit there and so this one um, we look for what's called translucency and so um, I'm going to try and make this so we can see it through the, the sunshine in the window um, but if you look um, you can kind of tell like this, the bigger one's sort of, and that's sort of, they're both sort of drippy, but the bigger one is just water. And then the second one is uh, oil. And so it's sort of hard to see on the camera, and if we let it dry, you'd be able to see it better. 
But my best analogy for this one, or sort of the best example for this one, is if you've ever gotten like French fries at um, McDonald's, they have like a brown paper bag and uh, then the oil, the lipids from the um, French fries get onto the bag and it sort of looks the same way. So you can always tell like, are there delicious fries in the bag or are there not delicious fries in the bag? Um, and then, uh, then because there's lipids in those. So um, we got to wait a couple minutes for the Benedicts and the Bayou Ray. So I'm going to pause it and then I'll be back in a second. Alrighty, so it's been about five minutes. Uh, so I'm going to take my test tubes out. And so this one is my Benedicts. And so if you look at this, uh, the water one, which is this one, uh, stayed blue. And then the positive or the one with uh, monosaccharides in it um, or sugars uh, it turned like a cloudy, weird kind of orange color. And then if we look at the protein, the, this one is the water. And it's just sort of a lighter version of the um, the indicator for the Bayure solution. And then uh, this one, it's uh, like a lavender color. So it changed a color. So that would be the one that has the protein in it. And then again, um, here's the iodine. Uh, this is just the water. And then this is the one that has the uh, polysaccharides or the cornstarch in it. And then our paper towel one was the lipid one. So uh, make sure that you answer the questions at the bottom uh, and just do the best you can. And that's it.